Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, M.E. Montero Entertainment and this is going to be my new video. And this video today is going to talk about how to turn a non-touchscreen computer into touchscreen. And I'm telling you, it's not hard. You don't need to buy some hardware. You don't need to modify this bullshit. You don't have to open this up and put a digitizer on this shit. There's an easy way. Basically, I will tell you how this works. So the first thing you need to understand is how the screen shows color well basically it the screen the display works on lcd lcd stands for liquid crystal display and that's something you should know the, the lcd works on three colors red green and blue and in abbreviation form it's called rgb and that's the way our human eye can see and basically red green and blue pixels are they have varied intensity to create a range of colors and basically those colors are mixed and this is how we can see all those colors with our eyes. But there's one thing you didn't know. The LC all computers come with a digitizer thing which detects finger motion. And you know the thing is there are many laptops which claim they are not touch screen. Well that's because there's a secret setting which makes it disabled. Actually all laptops are touch screen. The way they are built, they're built to be able to to move based on your finger input. Right now, I'm tapping on this and it's not responding. I'm trying to press the start menu, not responding. Well, it's not that the computer is not touch screen, it's because there's something which is disabled. You have to get in, you have to get further into the system to get it on and working. And that's what I'm gonna tell you right now. So, all right guys, let's get started. The first and foremost step is to open a notepad. Just open the bloody notepad app. All right, sorry for that, but yeah, here's my notepad app. And what I do is I call the file enable touchscreen.cmd. You guys see clearly? Well, remember when you save it in the notepad file, do not save it as a txt file. It rename the file, change the file extension to cmd. So now what you're going to do is you're going to type in a special code and then you're going to have to run it. And wait, I recommend you save this to your desktop. So in case if you want to enable it, you just click the shortcut on your desktop and you're good to go. So for example, for now, I'll just leave it here. So it's a CMD file and now I'm just going to make the text a little bigger so you guys can see it. So yeah, I'm just going to make this a little more visible for you. I'll make this size 20. Forget about the font. We're not, we don't want this to be fancy. We just want to, you know, type a code. So now the code you have to type is x y g s s t u v l m o p. So that's your first line, and the second line should be g f c l c d t o u c h. So yeah, g f c l c d. So liquid crystal display touch activate. And that's not it. We have to also type a special line. System 32, Windows 10. This only works in Windows 10, by the way. If you have Windows 8.1 or older, then this trick will not work for you at all. System 32, Windows 10. Post box 179. So remember, keep in mind, this is not a TXT file, it's a CMD file. So it's like a command. You're giving the computer a command to turn your touch screen on. So, and here we go. Now we just type all the letters, QWERTY, U-I-O-P. So you don't type in alphabetical order, you type on keyboard order. And then here we go. And then we're done. We save it. And now what we do is we just run it. And now guys, as you can see, as you can see right now, in the documents, I saved a file, it's called enable touchscreen and it's a CMD file. It should look something like this. If it opens up as a notepad, that means you forgot to change the file extension from TXT to CMD because it's a command. I think I said this a hundred million times. It's kind of annoying when I repeat it, but I'm trying to make sure you guys know what you're doing and you're doing the steps right. So let's run it. We double click. So yeah, then a dialog box should pop up and freeze right away. Now I think your laptop is touch screen. Wait, it's still not working. So you just click again and here we go. 
yeah it closed so now let's try the touch screen out so let me first get this stood up let me find Here we go guys, it's working. I'm scrolling up and down. But it's a little bit slow, that's the problem. And you know, sometimes one might want to watch a new video. So let's watch this. And here we go, we can see it's working nice and well. And then I just paused it. Here we go guys, now my touch screen is working, thanks for watching, bye.